Hi, it's Brit with Shirt Space, the shirt place. Okay, now it's time to spill the tea. Did you know that Shirt Space carries over 500 styles when it comes to kids' clothing? From t-shirts to sweatshirts to sports apparel and more, Shirt Space has you covered when it comes to kids' clothing. This is not only great news for apparel decorators that like to customize kids' clothing, but also for families that need to outfit their children and for special events. Why not consider a t-shirt decorating party for your children's next birthday celebration or bring some t-shirts along for all of the kids to decorate for your next family function? All that we know is that teacher decorating isn't just for adults, it's for the kiddos too. And today we're gonna to have our special helper, Remy, show us some fun and easy methods for kids to decorate t-shirts as well. Let's do this. Yeah! Today, after watching this video, you'll learn how to use stencils, fabric markers, puffy paint, tie-dye, iron on patches. Our first method of apparel decoration that's great for kids that we want to share with you is puffy paint, stencils, and fabric markers. Stencils are an uncomplicated tool used by any age, but especially for kids to decorate t-shirts, and uh, puffy paint and fabric markers are a very uncomplicated medium for little hands. First things first, we must pick the stencil we want to use. I picked the, the unicorn. The second step is we need to have some cardboard to label your stencils down so you have hard space. And now you put the cardboard inside the shirt, wherever you want. Now it's all in. Now, the first step is very important. You need a door. Like mine, who I have me today, Brittany. All right, Remy. So a little tip to help you guys is um, you can use this adhesive spray. You can get this at craft stores or online. And you can spray the back of the stencil and then adhere it to the shirt on top of where the cardboard is, and this will help the stencil stay in place while your kids apply their paint or fabric markers. Let's do this. So now we're gonna use our puffy paint, our paintbrushes, and our fabric markers. Crafts are great for the whole family, but especially kiddos. Combine messy and fun and you have a kid-approved activity. Tie-dye designs are great because they always come out unique and beautiful. Just like you. Please also note that although prepping for tie-dye projects by soaking your garments in soda ash is not required, it really does make a huge difference in vibrancy, especially long term. My first tie-dye project I made, I didn't use soda ash. The shirt came out decent when I washed and revealed it, but about 24 hours after I dried it, the color started to dramatically fade. It's a simple step, and although it requires preparation and planning ahead, it can dramatically improve your results, so we highly recommend. First, we'll talk about the materials you'll need for tie-dyeing. We got most of the supplies we need in this handy-dandy kit right here. So glad that we have a cake pan and a cookie pan. Where are the cookies? <laughs> Well, cookies will come later, but we did need um, some paper towels, our t-shirt that we soaked in soda ash, our dye, we had a cake pan with a cookie tray on top. This is not necessary, but um, it makes the job a lot easier. And also don't forget you need protective gloves, rubber bands, and some type of tablecloth or protective sheet for your workspace. Oh, we forgot the Ziploc bags. Oh yeah. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's get time so we can get dyed. 
Yeah. I'm gonna pinch this little part right here. Now you're going to let your shirt soak for a minimum of 24 hours and this lets the dyes really adhere to the fabric. method of apparel decoration that we'd like to show you for kids today. You will want to grab an adult to help you plug in your iron and they will want to make sure that the steam setting is not turned on. Check your patches to see what they recommend for your temperature settings because our patches recommend that we set the temp at 120 to 160 degrees. And we have such cute ones patches because we picked them up. Brittany, which pick could choose your favorite? I think I like the Pikachu holding a hoodie. Yeah, that's one of my favorites too. That's your favorite too? Alright, well let's make a shirt. What do you think? Good. You have to make sure to not touch the iron. You know why? Because it's super hot. Make sure to press your patch down for 10 to 15 minutes. But you can ask your grown up friend for help for quick. So it goes quicker. Good job, Remy. And that was actually 10 to 15 seconds. 10 to 15 minutes might be just a bit too long. Um, and you also want to use a handy piece of parchment paper that will help you with pressing just to protect your design in the fabric. So we got to hold it for 10 to 15 seconds. Ready? Yeah. Now that we've put our patches on, do they feel cool to the touch, Remy? Yeah, they do. They do? Well, it's time to peel off the membrane. Ew, membrane. <laughs> With this method, we do recommend that you turn your shirt inside out before washing and drying, and you do put it on a colder setting. This is to protect the design because over time, heat will make the design peel up on the edges with wear and tear. It's also good to always have extras on hand, especially if you're working with new products to ensure success. Wow, that was a lot of fun. We hope that you enjoyed this video and are now inspired to have your little ones create their own t-shirt designs. Now that we've showed you how to use these methods, let's talk about shirts. I mean, we are shirt space, the shirt place after all. The first shirt that we used for the first craft, stencils and fabric markers and puffy paint, was the Port & Company fan favorite PC450Y t-shirt in black. It's a 4.5 ounce midweight t-shirt, 100% ring spun cotton except some of the gray colors, comes in 27 colors, has a removable tag that is easy to ditch, and is a great choice for all other crafts that we did today as well. The next shirt that we used for our tie-dye project was the Anvil Lightweight 990B in white. It's super light at 4.3 ounces, made from 100% ring spun cotton except the gray colors. The use styles carry a Track My Tea number at the bottom hem which is traceable at www.trackmytea.com, an interactive platform that will take you behind the scenes of the company that created the t-shirt and their sustainable efforts. It's a tubular construction, so you have a lot of room for printing. It's Ocotech standard certified and it would be a great choice for any of the other projects. But also remember the anvil styles are being absorbed into the Guild and Soft style line. You can also get this shirt in a short sleeve version as well, the G500B, and it's known for its fantastic value for the cost. It's 100% pre-shrunk cotton, except some of the grays that have a little bit of polyester in the mix, and it comes in 11 colors, and it's a solid choice for any of these projects that we did today as well. Do you have any ideas of ways that you can decorate kids' apparel? We'd love to hear them, so make sure you let us know in the comments below. And we also would love to see your creations, so you can make sure to send them over to marketing at shirtspace.com. We'd also like to thank our special helper, Remy. Where is that girl? Woo! For our video today. If you liked her creations, make sure to give us a like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications, and make sure you stick around for more.